We'd like to welcome you to BeMoreNews.com, the news before the news where we uncover the truth. We're here at the first ever Liberty Road Festival with the one and only David A. Green. Hello, sir. Top of the day to you. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good, good. What do we have going on here? Right here we have the first ever Liberty Road Parade and Festival. This morning we had a parade that started. We had about 35 entries in the parade. We had the likes of uh, four or five marching bands, Milton Mill High School Choir is going to be performing later. Right now on the stage is Shadina. Shadina performed at the Hippodrome last night, but we got her here today for free, and I understand when she leaves here, she headed straight up to Atlanta City for another gig. So we're truly doing national acts here at the first ever Liberty Road Parade Festival. And after Katrina, we got another act coming up from the Unity Church of Christ, the first Unity Church of Christ down on Franklin Street. And it's a, it's a, uh, a play, The Color Purple, a one-act play called Purple. That's going to be coming up. And then after that, we've got uh, the uh, Milford Mill High School Choir, and then uh, Street Corner Symphony. And finally, we're going to, okay, one more act, the final touch. And finally, we're going to finish up the day with the likes of uh, National Recording Artist, artist Art Sherrod Jr. Art's going to go on the stage at about 5, 5, 15, 5, 30. So it's going to bring, up, bring the uh, festival to a close. So first night out, first time out, I think we did pretty good. We had a pretty good crowd earlier today. I'm expecting we'll have a bigger crowd earlier today. We got plenty of food. We got food. What are you eating, Donnie? <laughs> the, the pit beef. <laughs> Donnie's got his pit beef sandwich, courtesy of South Carolina Caters. We got a La Fiesta Grill. We got uh, Just Turkey. We got a little bit of everything out here. And we got food. But one of the most important things that I'm most excited about is our efforts to promote prostate health in Baltimore County. Thanks to the help of uh, Chesapeake Urology, we're able to do free prostate screening. Free prostate screening. Um, this is not the last time that this is going to happen. It's going to occur several times throughout the summer. Thanks to uh, the generosity of Dr. Uh, Sandy Siegel. Sam Siegel. We're going to be able to do this. And it's going to make a difference to someone's li life. So if you want to know more about it, contact Be More News to find out more about where these upcoming free screenings are going to be. Because it truly does make a difference for you and your family. Now, Dave, this uh, festival comes on the heels of the grand opening of the Resource Center back on Wednesday of this week. Any thoughts on that? That is a brilliant facility. As, as uh, Congressman, former Congressman Faisi and Fume said, the only words that he could see to describe it was good, good move, because it truly was a remarkable structure. It's huge. It's the largest structure ever built in Baltimore County for purposes of hosting recreational activities. On top of that, for the first time, the first public swimming pool in Baltimore County. That's going to be open. In fact, you can swim for free. All kids can swim for free from now until June 14th. And then for just a nominal fee, your kids can swim. At, uh, How much is that? I believe for a kid it's just $10 a month. And what about adults? Can adults swim? I'm not I'm not sure about what the adult prices are. Okay. You can contact the Baltimore Department of Recreation Park or the YMCA over at the uh, at the community center. The community center is located at 30, 3525. The Liberty Road, I'm sorry, Randallstown Community Center is located at 3525 Liberty Road, right next to the Home Depot, just above Friendbrook and Liberty Road. Okay, Dave, we just want to, I'm sorry. Councilman Ken Oliver did a yeoman's job in bringing that to fruition, not to mention uh, Delegate Adrian Jones as the, as the uh, uh, chair of the, uh, of the capital budget. He's a folks that really going on the money for Baltimore County because of commitments like that, not to mention my boss, County Executive Jim Smith. We have a superstructure on Liberty Road for families to take it to, to, to uh, make families healthy and to provide some good, wholesome entertainment and activities for our families. Now, Dave, you're also involved in the African American Festival. That's right. Coming up on September 19th. This is our 13th year African American Cultural Festival in Towson, Maryland, in Courthouse Square. We're going to be doing, as we do all year, it's going to be free. Uh, we have uh, not chosen our final uh, entertainment for that event yet, but in the past we've had the likes of Stephanie Mills, uh, Pieces of a Dream, OJ, uh, Jeffrey Osborne, and uh, Anita, not Anita Baker, um, <laughs> Tebow Bryson, 
We've had a lot, so I'm sure this year is going to be just as big. Mark your calendars, September 19th, Towson Courthouse Plaza. It's a stimulus package for Baltimore County. That's what we aim to do. This event is a stimulus package. It provides a good, wholesome entertainment for Baltimore County at no cost to the public. That's what we aim to do. We, we hope to be that gap between your your wallet and good, good friendly, good friendly family-oriented entertainment for your family. Bye. Good deal. Uh, I heard you mention something about uh, Liberty Road. Uh, uh, there's a jazz concert, Liberty and Old Court, right? I, I, I messed up over there by the Wendy's. Is, uh, the library is the library having a free? I am not aware of. Okay, I saw a sign concert. over there on Liberty and Old Court about a, a storm. Uh, Fortunately, I, I, Dave Bree's not the only one putting on events in this community. There are a lot of very good organizations doing it. Well, you the man, one Dave. Organization in particular is Northwest Hospital. Okay. Northwest Hospital, thanks to their generous donation, they helped make this possible because this comes with a cost. And we can't do it all by ourselves. But we look like our partners like Northwest Hospital to help us out. All right. Well, Dave, we want to take an opportunity just to thank you for all that you do for the community in a selfless manner. David A. Green. That's keep, what I do. And keep watching BeMoreNews.com, the news before the news, where we uncover the truth. Thank you.